Hello my darlings and welcome. This is a modern witch's guide to celebrating Imbolc. I wanted to share some of my ideas about how a modern witch might wish to celebrate an ancient holiday in a contemporary way. Let's do some magical crafting. I'd like to suggest some ways to celebrate the Imbolc season, even if you find it difficult to connect with the holiday or to carve out time in your schedule to do something meaningful. Here are some suggestions on how you may wish to honor the season. Imbolc is a celebration of new beginnings, and while it falls on February 1st in the Northern Hemisphere, you can celebrate the season before and after the actual date. I encourage you to celebrate at a time that works in your schedule and for your lifestyle, and at whatever level of complexity that you have the energy for. Imbolc is a liminal time. It's still winter, yet also time to acknowledge the first spark of spring, the embedded energies that have been sleeping over the winter. It's a time to celebrate new beginnings, purification, and the hearth and home. Traditionally, the goddess of the hearth is honored. In the Celtic pantheon, Brigid is the goddess of the forge, hearth, and the sacred flame. We often see Brigid honored on this day. Imbolc is also called Brigid's Day. In this video, I give some suggestions for honoring the goddess. However, you can simply celebrate the season instead if you prefer. Craft your Imbolc celebration to fit your traditions and preferences. Imbolc is traditionally a fire festival. The lighting of candles and fires represents the return of warmth and the increasing power of the sun. Imbolc is also known as Candle Mass or the Festival of Lights or Feast of Flames. The celebration of Imbolc originates from the ancient Celts. It symbolizes the halfway point between the winter solstice and the spring equinox. Around this time of year, many herd animals are pregnant or giving birth to their first offspring of the year. For the ancient Celts, this was a time to celebrate renewal and rebirth after a cold, hard winter. To be honest, you may find it difficult to celebrate a holiday based on sheep and cows being pregnant and the milk they produce. So let's look at the holiday through a modern lens. Perhaps you could use milk in your celebration of Imbolc instead. Consider using goat's milk soap with intention in your bath, shower, or face wash. Not everyone has the time or space to take a ritual bath. However, if you have the inclination to take one, include milk as the main ingredient. Coconut milk is a good substitute if you do not wish to use animal products. Whether you're making an Imbolc feast, a small special meal, or just grabbing a bite to eat, you can make your meal more intentional for the holiday by featuring dairy products. Perhaps some feta cheese on a salad of spring greens, or create a delicious treat with butter, cheese, cream, milk, or any other dairy product of your choice. Buy or make a dessert that features milk or cream, such as a milk cake, a pudding, or ice cream. If you're vegan, you can substitute almond milk or vegan cheese if you prefer, or consider some of the other celebratory options offered here instead. Imbolc is often celebrated as a fire festival and a celebration of the return of the sun. Lighting bonfires or even a fireplace is not always possible or accessible. You can, however, light a candle with the intention of welcoming back the sun after winter. You can also light a candle for the goddess Bridget on this day if you would like to honor her. Imbolc is a fire festival and fire of all kinds is associated with Bridget. The fire of creativity, the protective hearth fire, and her fire wheel, the Bridget Cross, which heralds her as a sun goddess. 
Another way to honor the return of the sun or the goddess Brigid is to do something creative in their honor and with magical intention. If you'd like to fire up your creativity, you can create art, write prose or poetry, make crafts, get creative in the kitchen with cooking or baking. Go wherever your interests and talents lead you, from music to hobbies. Any activity can be dedicated to a deity or given significance as a holiday observance when you add that intention as you create. This year, I'll be crafting seed cakes for the birds as an embolg offering. It celebrates the fertility of seeds beginning to grow again and some birds start courting as early as midwinter and can use the extra food in this season. I also crafted some melt and pour goat's milk soap for the season and a milk bath soak. Go wherever your creativity leads you. M bulk marks the anticipation of spring around the corner, celebrating light and fertility. It's the start of the agricultural year when the earth warms up, everything begins to grow. However, you may still be deep in winter where you live, or conversely, you may live somewhere warm where it never snows, and it might never get all that cold. If you don't see the turning of the seasons in the traditional way that they're portrayed, you may want to adapt this holiday to something that works for your climate and your location. Get creative with how you can celebrate the promise of spring coming soon and the return of the sun. Greet the sun as it rises. Or if that's too early, spend some time as the sun sets instead. Traditional activities on Imbolc and St. Bridget's Day were visiting holy wells, gathering the morning dew, creating biddy dolls and Bridget crosses out of woven grasses, and divining the weather to come. And while you may not be interested in visiting a holy well or able to gather the morning dew, you may wish to wash your face in water infused with the morning sun, adding a bit of healing magic or beauty glamour magic to the process if you choose to. You may want to set up an altar or a sacred space for the holiday or season. If you have the space, time, energy, and inclination for this, you may wish to set up an altar with the symbols of Bridget, like a corn husk doll, white flowers, a bowl of milk, and candles. You may wish to raise your energy in this special place or recite a prayer to receive a blessing from Bridget. However, if you don't have the ability to make an elaborate altar or offering, consider lighting a simple candle or charging a dish of water in the sunlight or stirring your intention for the day into a cup of tea or coffee as you add some cream. All of the small moments of magic that you add to your day can add up to a well-celebrated holiday. During this time, there still may be snow on the ground and chilly temperatures outside. Or you may live in a part of the world where winter does not hold as strong of significance. No matter what the weather is like, you will start to notice that the light lasts a little bit longer each day. You may start to see the earth awakening and you may feel yourself awakening as well. After months of self-reflection, planning and goal setting during the winter, aspiration and ambition is beginning to stir. You may notice that your passions and interests are starting to awaken beneath the surface and stir to life. It may be time to begin working on those goals and dreams that you've created over the long cold winter nights. Let your creativity and imagination loose. You may wish to use the holiday to journal or plan new beginnings, or get inspired by the plants and animals coming out of winter hibernation to start acting on your plans. Because Imbolc, Bridget's Day, and Candlemas coincides with the Lunar New Year, you may wish to also honor traditions for that holiday as well. Keep all of your conversations and even your self-talk positive on this day. 
visit family members, give gifts of money, or focus on financial prosperity. If you have any Imbolc traditions that you'd like to share, I'd love to read about them in the comments, especially if you have any suggestions for celebrating an ancient holiday in the modern day, and any tips and tricks for witches who have very little time in their day to celebrate. I hope this video gives you some ideas on how to craft your own Imbolc celebration, and I hope you have a blessed Imbolc season.